Hello guys, this is our first video on trigonometry and in this video I am introducing trigonometric concepts to you. So the word trigonometry has some Greek parts in it. Uh, trigon means triangle and metron means measure. So trigonometry is the study of the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. In trigonometry we continue with Greek letters. Angles inside the triangle would be noted by theta, beta and alpha. These are Greek letters that we will use in the place of angle sizes. See them as variables. Before we go on to trigonometric theory, let's just revise the theorem of Pythagoras which was introduced to you in grade 8. Now the theorem of Pythagoras needs a right angled triangle. In this triangle we have angle A, B and C. And for now the angles would be represented by capital letters. The lowercase letters represent the side. For example, uh, the lowercase a represents the side BC. But we use this in order to write a bit shorter and quicker. So how to name the sides? You see angle A. Opposite angle A is side A. Opposite the right angle B is side B. And opposite the angle C is side C. And how we learned to use Pythagoras in grade 8 was the longer side squared is equal to the sum of the shorter side squared. So B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared. We can also find the other lengths by using this basic formula and moving um, items around. For example, A squared is equal to B squared minus C squared. And C squared is equal to B squared minus A squared. An important part of trigonometry is the name of sides. So in this right angled triangle, I have named this angle theta. Now I can name all of the sides from theta's position. The first one is the one on the other side or opposite of theta. So uh, if theta is here, the side opposite it is called the opposite side. The side of the triangle right next to theta is called the adjacent side. And the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. And we will use the abbreviations OPP for opposite of theta, ADJ for adjacent to theta, and HYP for the hypotenuse, that is the side opposite the right angle of triangle. In trigonometry, we have three basic ratios that we continually use. That is sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tan of theta. These are ratios of the sides of the triangle. The first one to remember is sine theta. So sine is the ratio that I want to discover and theta is the angle which I will consider. So sine theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. How it looks like on the triangle, if I go to theta, I take the opposite side and divide it by the length of the hypotenuse. A short way to write it is O over H. Cosine of theta is the second trigonometric ratio that we would use. So again, cosine is the ratio that we're looking for, and the abbreviation is cos. And the angle which we'll be using is theta. So the cos of theta is the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse. And on the triangle, it is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Remember, the adjacent is next to theta, and the hypotenuse is over the right angle of the triangle. 
the last trigonometric ratio that we'll introduce in this lesson is tan of theta. So the ratio's name is tan or tangent. Theta is the angle from which we would work. So that is theta. And the rule for tan is the opposite over the adjacent. So this is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now this can be quite overwhelming. And it's important to memorize these three ratios as quickly as possible in order to continue with trigonometry. So an easy way to remember these three ratios is the word so katoa. The first part, so, is sine is equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Sine, opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the toa part it stands for tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent side. Please take your time to memorize this. It is important for the remainder of your school career.